Hello everyone, today we will talk about further survival analysis and previously we talked about how to build a plot and uh, this is the input file we used. Here you can see that uh, these are the gene information along with the sample information and genes up regulation and down regulation and so on and so forth. Right, uh, so uh, we did this using these genes and also we used these two columns. I just zoom in for your uh, ease. Here you can see overall status and then overall survival months. So uh, we used overall survival months information and status information along with the gene information uh, and build a survival plot. Uh, so that was used using our console. And uh, I think uh, that survival analysis using R console is quite clear, but uh, here you can see that we use this R console for the analysis. If I just open it for you, <laughs> yeah, this one. But this time uh, we, I will use the R Studio from now. I think now you guys would be equipped with using uh, R console. So now we should move to a user friendly method that is R Studio. And uh, let's start from here. I've just uh, already pasted the survival information, a uh, survival script uh, in the R console. I'll explain you step by step. Hey, you, s you can see here that this was the previous R uh, survival analysis code we used. These were the four or five libraries we actually you, uh, called before running the survival analysis so these are the required packages right and then uh, next we set the working library so this was the link of the of the live location of the live uh, directory where we started the uh, we saved our survival files so first we called the libraries then we set the working directories and then uh, in that working directory there is a file that is now known as survival analysis uh, we used that uh, file for uh, for all the analysis we have done previously and we will do here now so next we just have to call, uh, call this uh, file or read this file so for that we just click on the on that uh, line and then just run and now the uh, file is read by the read dot table command so next we have to make an object uh, of os uh, with clinical comma survival clinical os months comma clinical os months so we made the object right next is uh, now we can make the survival plot using the os uh, survival fit command and this will actually build a plot for the months and and status and use based on the events so if I if, we, if I just paste the plot so here you can see that this is the auto plot command for uh, for generating the generating a plot right next uh, uh, what we did previously using our console was to uh, build a gene uh, plot for example, here I'm, I have used AKT1 gene, and uh, for plotting uh, again against a gene, specific gene, right? So what we did actually is we just added the gene information. Here you can see that clinical uh, dollar AKT1 gene, which is present in this file. Here you can see that AKT1 gene is present here. So we use this gene information and we then uh, uh, used the, this is the same surfit command and then we added this clinical dollar akt uh, variable here and then, then just click the run and when we do click the run then after uh, clicking the run now we have to plot this so we will use auto plot here i'm us using the auto plot command i'm not saving the files uh, so hey now you can see that the uh, plot of the AKT gene against the survival is 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 built here right now for next what we need to do is to we want to find the significant value for the 
gene. But first, let's do some uh, repeat this process, and let's uh, use another gene. For example, here I'm using AK2T2 gene, and then AKT2 gene, and then I'm building another. Uh, sorry, not uh, this one. Let's copy this once more and paste here AKT2 and then AKT2 here yeah and then uh, just run the command and then next step is to uh, build the auto plot of AKT2 now this variable and then click the now yeah now here you can see there's a difference that here the down regulation and up regulation are showing different uh, uh, features compared to the previous AKT1 gene so now after doing all this let's uh, go for Cox uh, analysis where we can get the significant p-value and the hazard ratio value for the for the gene right so uh, this is the command for Cox hazard proportional hazard model and uh, we will just uh, you can just follow these steps and you can just copy these commands and you can use that for your analysis just change the name of the file and after uh, running the command here you can see that uh, the Cox command here you can see this is the output uh, this was the formula which was used total number of samples 177 number of events 92 and then uh, clinical upregulation this is the hazard coefficient no not the, this is the coefficient and this there is the hazard ratio and then the p-value and so on and so forth right and similarly for uh, we can do this for another gene or we can add for example now we want to make another uh, we want to add another gene that is AKT2 along with the so we can find the p-values for both of the genes for example we just add here right clinical uh, dollar AKT plus clinical dollar AKT2 and then we just put a comma here there was some problem here yeah and then we just click the run now here you can see that uh, when we click the summary here now you can see the hazard ratio and p-values for both of the genes both of the genes uh, were not significant but uh, but the results are quite uh, familiar to you that now we have uh, we got the p-value we got the hazard ratios so on and so forth this is the plot and uh, and this is the plot for the analysis thank you very much i think that's enough for today bye bye